and we are as leaders we have accepted that anyone who is killing people has no right to live they should be extinguished so that all of us can be able to live i am very pained as a governor extremely pained and i am telling you these people have actually hit us at the most most uh, important part because we have we have been relying on these peace committees to help us get peace now who else who else will help us who else will help the community who will these are the only guys who are using to, who used to call very courageous who used to call for peace meetings who will now call for these peace meetings even if government wants us to talk we need community owned community driven they told us we need community driven the politicians should step back and then the community can dr drive now those who are driving this are now being killed now it means they will not spare the governor they will not spare anybody they want to kill even the minister they will not spare and uh, it is unfortunate that we can kill our people that bandits can roam Kerio Valley and kill people at will, people who are unarmed, people who are going to a peace meeting to recover stolen livestock. It is, it is time that banditry is declared as terrorism. This is an act of terrorism. It is, it is like we are living in Somalia. Patrick ni chairman wa Endo Peace Committee. Na Patrick pia ni social worker wa Justice and Peace uh, katika Elore Diocese katika eneo la Kiriovale. Uh, kwa muda mrefu amekuwa akipigania uh, mambo ya amani kwa, kwa muda mrefu sana. Uh, vile vile Suter Joseph ambaye tuna tunamuita Kinyozi kwa, luku, kwa, kwa kwa majina yake ya kinyumbani ndiye uh, treasurer wa, wa wa jamii ya Endo Peace Committee na wao wote wamekuwa akipigania na wamekuwa akifanya recoveries ya mbuzi na ngombe waliibiwa kule Pokot na huku tena sehemu za Marakot. Uh, ni tendo ambalo sisi wana jamii ya amani na hata kanisa tuna, tunapinga kwa maneno yote mazito 